Great to see you back. How is the city? Are the buildings as tall as you see in the newspapers? The city is fine. Thanks. I'll manage. How long are you back? I'm tired. We'll talk later. Regular exercise. That's what Dr. Chow said. We need to be going around Makutano so that those people who thought that you were going to die can see you and feel ashamed. I am not sure about the jogging. Maybe we take brisk walks every now and then. Trust this household to go to ruins when I'm not around. Why has the maize field not been weeded? My dear, the good doctor said you should not stress yourself. No, no, no. The maize crop is not tended to. Those bananas need to be propped up by support sticks. What has Pipi been doing all this time I've been away? The boy needs to be whipped to work. Good morning, Bonabaraka. Thank God you're back. We missed you a lot. Yes, I can see you missed somebody to supervise your work. You will send us back to the hospital even before you step in your own house. Come, let us go inside. Hello, Babu. Yes, I can see the cow shed is clean. But the rest, where is this Pipi boy? Pipi? Uh, 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 Pipi left for, I mean, he went to sell the, I mean, are you asking about who? You asked about Pipi? You've never been good at lying, my speedy. Where is Pipi? It's obvious he has done absolutely nothing around here since I got sick. Uh, I don't know where he is. Yes, you know, he told you he was going to the salon. That Jezebel. What Jezebel? That old horse called Small Sharon. She's been spoiling our good son. Is that where he is? Small what? My speedy. I, but do not tell him I'm the one who told you, but last time I saw him there, uh, uh, last night he was with uh, Doji. Where are you going? You've not even seen the tracksuits. Hey, Pipi, Pipi, man, come on, dog, get up, get up. Take this, milk and eggs, man. It will get you out of the blackout. Mm. Come on, dog. Yeesh. Come on, I don't want Bill to find you here, man. It's so good to see you. For how long are you around and how is the recording going? Come on, Ross. Red has not even sat down and you start with all those questions. Toby and Kara have left for school, but they'll be so glad to see you. They missed you so much. What happened to your cheek, Mom? Oh, I slipped and hit my face against the window at school. Oh, well. Here, a little concealer. And no one will see the scar. Anyway, your coming back is such a pleasant surprise, but you should have called us. Oh yeah, I, I meant to tell you I was coming, but I have been so busy with uh, concerts and everything, I forgot. Red, tell your mother to spare those questions for later. <laughs> and then yesterday, I felt like I would go mad if I didn't rest. And I thought of home, so here I am. Oh, well, it's really good to see you. Now that's my daughter talking. So, uh, you've been doing lots of concerts? Uh, yeah. Well, I'd like to listen to all your stories, but I need to go to school. I'll tell Kara and Toby that you're back. Oh, no, I, I forgot to buy them presents. The showbiz can be such a spoil. I mean, look at my hair. Say, Mom, you lend me a thousand shillings. I go make my hair. I'll refund you. You know, my producer said my money's too much for me to carry in cash, so he's sending me a check. Oh, thank God they didn't give you cash. Just last night, Mama Mboga was robbed in her own house. What? Here. For your hair. Oh, thank you. I, I missed you, Dad. Um, <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs> you shouldn't be giving out money like that now that the bookshop has closed down. Don't you know how to welcome your superstar daughter home? I couldn't see their faces. I remember one had these running shoes, sport shoes. Mama Boga, I'm going to do everything that I can to find out who did this. Oh, you can. Oh, they took all my money, all of it, hmm? to the very last coin. Even the money from the market women. Please, please, where, where, where am 
I going to get money to pay these women? Huh? Why me? Listen, why don't you go to work? I think you'll feel much better being around your friends. I can't. I can't go to the market. I just can't go there. Not without the money. I can't go there. I, I, I'll talk to the women. I'll explain to them what happened. I don't want you to worry. Siri! It's so good to have you back. You know, we all pray to God so that he can make you well and you can come back to us. Thank you. Your prayers really work. Hey, well, we heard about you and Karis. Hallelujah. Oh, the market is now full. Uh, except for Mama Mboga. I wonder when she's going to come. Hey, I don't think Mama Mboga will come. Eh? But if I was Mama Mboga, hey. I would go to Mama Bima. Then the one who stole her house would be cursed and he'll go back there naked. <laughs> hey, oh. me, that is what I did. Hey. That is why you never hear my house has been robbed. Mama Bima, why? Of pure African chemistry. Ay, but I just wish Mama Bima would make me rich. I'm so broke. Who has seen that stupid pee pee bird? Bring him to me and I will deal with him accordingly. My dear, what will people think when they see you like this? That boy thinks he's too big for me to cane, eh? You just wait. He will see. He will know what's tough. Hey, Karis, Karis. Hey! You are such a fine young man, eh? Every in Makutano people are just saying, Karis, Karis. Handsome, smart, generous, just like his I'm father. I don't take porridge. Nah, so I told myself, Anna, why don't you go and talk to Karis? People say that he's intelligent, good, and very generous. <laughs> Talk to me about what? Karis, I need some money. I hear you're giving people money. I don't give people money. I loan people money and they give me something to hold on to in case they refuse to pay back. So what have you got? <coughs> this bracelet, eh? My husband bought it from Congo. Pure ivory. So how much can you give me? 500 shillings payable in two weeks, failure to which I will sell the bracelet. Ay, Karis, I need 2,000. Okay, but only because I know you, and I will sell it if you can't pay. Though I doubt I can sell it for half that much. Hey, can you sell it? Come now, Anna. I haven't done anything, just a small favor. Hey. Fred, when did you get back? <sighs> this morning. Wow, so what have you brought us from city in the sun? Oh, my dears, I'm so sorry. I left in such a rush. I didn't even have time to buffer myself anything. And my hair, look, it's horrible. Come on, make me look good real quick so that I can go see my pee-pee. I want to look my best when I see him. What? No, it's just that there's a lot of gossip you need to catch up on. Oh, yeah, I heard about Sheryl and Carice. Oh, no, not just them. Some people here have been lucky in love. Oh, small, it's you. Who's the lucky guy? Have you seen him? Who? That no good son of mine. No. Oh, try the barbers. And you. I will deal with you later. <laughs> Mokutano makes me laugh. Why would a father come looking for his son in a lady's salon instead of going to the Kinyozi? And why did he ask you that? Dad, no, no please, Dad. Dad. Oh, no. Dad, Dad, Dad. Mom, Mom, stop him, stop him. Mom, Mom, please. Dad, Dad, come on. Dad, please. Mom, 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 stop him. Mom, don't do this. Mommy, please, Mom, please. Please, please, don't do this, Baba Fifi. Pipi, are you okay? You look sick. I don't feel well. You see, you're stressing my young boy so much. He's now drinking. Can't you look for men your own age, you old horse? If I get home before you, you'll be in serious trouble. Understand? Come on, let's go, Barnaby. Red, hi. Don't worry, darling. Nothing they say will ever tear us apart. Darling? Yes. Pippi is now my boyfriend. And though many don't like it, who cares? Red, wait! Come on, let's get you all cleaned up. I have to get home. Oi, oi, Mama Boga. Paul, eh? Don't worry, it is God's plan. Haki, I don't know what I'm going to tell you people. At least they did not harm you. Did they touch the children? Hey, thank God not. 
But the money from the chopper, it was all stolen. It's like they knew it was there. Yes, I. Our money. All gone. Eh? What will I do? Ah, watch away. Eh? Can't you see that at least she's alive? What is money compared to life? You go and sell your stupid Uji and stop being mannerless. Where, where? You're not going to make me shut up like that. I am part of the women's bucket group. And what were you doing with the money? Makarete is a treasurer. Ah, oh! Don't worry. At least the other market women will understand. Today it is you. Tomorrow it will be us. Is there any news? I'm afraid not. There isn't much evidence to go on, but we are still trying. So you have nothing? I guess you can't expect to come after all this time and know what goes on, huh? I still think it is that new papa. Ever since he came, suddenly people are being shot, houses robbed. Some put even want to rape small Sharon and lock her in his room. Watch out, Wongo, where, where? When Cyril was shot, the, the new papa was not here. And small Sharon was arrested by the chief. Eh? Not rapists. And it is because she was drunk. Hey, still wine, Makutano. These things have never been there before. You know, once crime starts, it's hard to stop. But I'd like to start a crime prevention group. A what? It's where the people of Makutano patrol at night to try to prevent crimes like what happened to Mama Boga. Hey, Chief. Brilliant. Brilliant idea. The people who stole from Mama Boga were probably not outsiders. They were most likely people we know. People who knew that that money was kept under the mattress. Mama Boga. Did you see their faces? Guy. The rush was so bright, the only thing I could see was the one with a huge knife. I couldn't even see their faces. But there was one man, he was tall and huge. And as he was leaving, I could see he had some funny spot juice. Mama, faster. I need some tomatoes and onions. I have a customer in my place who needs them to fry. And I've run out of the tomatoes. I said fast, get off my way. You can come for the money later. Snake. What is it? May I have a word with you? Am I in trouble? Where were you at 3 a.m. last night? It's Mama Mbogas, isn't it? I wasn't there. I was asleep in my bed. Even the neighbor saw me get out to help when she was screaming. Ask the watchman at the bar. He saw me too. I will. And I hope you're telling the truth. And Snake, don't leave town. My Ascari is watching you. I told you, I'm not coming back. Don't call me again. The bar is closed. I can see that. Well, well. Madam Chief, what brings you to my bookies? I'd like to speak to your watchman about a burglary that took place last night. Yes, I heard about that. I thought you'd be at the councillor's office today. I am the councillor, but I still have my business to run. I'm glad. Um, I also want to speak to you about um, crime in the area. If you're looking for suspects, surely you don't think I'm one of them. Oh, no, not at all. I'm glad to know that. I thought you and I could work together to help prevent crime in this area. I don't see where I come in. Well, I intend to set up a community crime prevention group. What's that? It's where the people of Makutano form patrols to walk around at night to also respond to screams for help. That's all very well and good. Except that I don't see why I should be robbed into your failures. Failures? With the other chiefs, we never had a need for such groups. But since you came in here, crime has increased and all you seem to be doing is arresting innocent people. You are a member of Makutano and an elective councillor. The people elected you to help solve their problems. Young lady, have you ever seen me coming to you with a civic problem? Fine. I'll form the committee and the security group with or without you. How she ever got that job, only God knows. Surely you're not threatened. Don't be silly. I just... Look, 
I care about the people of McDonough. Well, I don't think Miss Baraka is the right person for the job. Come and help me with the books. Give me a minute, I just need to... Caris, what type of businessman are you? You haven't been here since morning. Back in a minute. Hey, ho. Ah, sorry, uh, Chief. I'm really sorry about my dad in there. Don't take it too hard. He's a counselor, for heaven's sake. We're supposed to work together to solve problems. I'm really amazed at how much you've achieved since you came here. Why does he have to fight me so hard? Well, I guess not everyone is as pleased as I am to see a chief who looks great in uniform. Say, uh, why don't I make it up by inviting you for dinner? We can go down to the city and be back before anyone notices. <laughs> um, I'm rather busy with a Mama Boga investigation. Yes, I can't. Course. Yes, of course. I will do it some other time when you aren't so busy. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd like that. I've got to go. Hey, Hope. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if I didn't go to London? That was ten years ago, Carice. <laughs> well, I really do have to go. Come on, my Speedy, let me relax. You have your own bed in the main house. You go there, Speedy, Speedy, and leave me space on my bed. My Speedy. Pipi, Hector says you come in and eat supper with everyone. But she didn't know that I'm here. You did not tell them and you've been here the whole day? Babu asked me where is your brother and I told him that you had told me not to tell them you are hiding here. <sighs> now you've ruined everything. I wanted them to think that I'd gone far away and killed myself. Well, your small brother sold you out. One, he's not my brother. And two, Mr. Loudmouth. Next time anyone asks you anything about me, shut up. What's up, Pippi the man, yo? You want some Hennessy? Uh, not exactly Hennessy, but the original gene for gangster dogs like us, man. Why can't you talk properly for once? Hello, Daji D. <laughs> AKA Russell T, the player. If you want some, let me hear you. Hello. Hello. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Say, though, you want some? We can go cruising in the hood, check out the fruity tooties, man. I didn't hear all the rest that you called me. But never call me a dog. I don't care who you are. There. Call me a goat or a sheep or a cow. But you call me a dog, I'll beat you up. Say, this dude ain't cool like that, what? Don't listen to him, man. Come on, let's roll out and go drink some barleys, man. Yeah, we cruising the jeeps. They let's cruise the beamers and the bears. Woo woo! Yeah, you know, cause we ain't no window shoppers, man. We the real G's. Cash money, brother. Woo -woo. Can I come with you, Pipi? No. But I'm a man now. I want to go with them. You go back to the house. The next time those two call me a dog, I'll fit them into a kennel. I don't have another S. I'll wait. I'll be back and out. You must be cheating. <laughs> you bring the cards, I shuffle them this time. Let's see if you'll win. Go your cardi. I'm playing. No more be back for you until you clear the money you already owe me. <laughs> there you go. Give me the cards. There's more where that came from. Snake, where did you get all this money from? I'm a working man. Hope it's not from the butchery. You know one of the people who stole from Mama Mboga, are you? Why is everybody asking that question? And if I was a thief, why steal from those miserable looking skumawiki selling market women? I hear she lost quite an amount. You better get out of town before Hope lands you in jail. I was dead asleep in my room. Now, let's play. I'll start. I think we deal 500. You know you're worse than him. You might as well just hand over the money right now. <laughs> I'm not playing. I, I don't have money to bet. Oh, come on, just one more time. You'll win. Especially with Snake playing here. You loan me 3,000 shillings. That's too much. 2,000. I'll pay to the winnings I make from Snake. <laughs> Sour. Let me go get the cash and uh, no one look at my cards. Go 
Aris thinks he's such a big man these days. Eh? The chief is holding a meeting. Has something to do with the Mamamboga theft. Have they gotten the clues who the suspects might be? Apart from me, of course. <laughs> Not yet. No, that, I think it's a waste of time. By now, the thieves will be long gone. Yeah, long gone. Very long gone. <laughs> hey, guys. Why don't we take this inside? Good idea. I wish we had a beamer like so. Yo, go cruising with the honey! <laughs> yeah, man. It's so kind of now. Hey. What? What? That taxi over there. Shh, shh. No one uses it, right? This people to make it a ride, yo! Yeah! Yeah! But I don't have its keys. Does it move? Uh, of course it does. Hey, come on. All I need to do is scratch a couple of wires. Are you sure? Yeah, just flash that torch off on here. Ah. What? <laughs> Dude, oh, man, man, let's go run. OK, we've waited long enough. It seems like the councillor isn't coming. So let's start. Now, first of all, I'm sorry, like I was to finalizing orders for, for, for tomorrow. Now, um, as I've made you aware, I would like to form a security committee here in Makutano due to the rising crime. You've spoken well, my daughter. You're the first chief to propose that here in Makutano. I wonder what the other chiefs were doing before you came along. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, now, sit down. I would like us to get through this quickly. Now, who would you nominate as chair of this committee? Obviously, my husband, Mr. Baraka. We own most of the land around here, and that makes him the automatic chair. No, Bernadette. You know I'm not fully recovered yet. I propose Mr. Mulani to chair the committee. A show of hands for those for Mr. Mulani and Mr. Baraka. Well, Mulani it is. Ah, good people of Makutano. Aye, you sit down. She hasn't finished docking. Mm. <laughs> I also need some volunteers to patrol with my Ascaris at night. So if you'll kindly sign your names as you leave. There would be no security problems in Makutano if parents would teach their children to be well-mannered. Look at the youths here. They are idle, take drugs, do nothing but steal. Parents should be held responsible for their children's behaviors. Fire! That's going to kill me.